In this Lords of the Fallen video, I bring you the 7 best weapons in the game. These are S tier weapons, the best ranking weapons that the game is capable of offering. They offer that S tier in that represented stat. As far as I'm aware, there are only 7 in this game, uh, which when ranked up become the most powerful S tier weapons in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so there were seven in total. These are mostly end game, but there are a couple you can get early on. Now, some of these items are also in places you can easily miss. And as I said earlier, uh, S tier, meaning they scale into their own category once leveled up. Now, for the most part, upon you reaching a level nine with these weapons, they will already hit that S tier mark saving you a duralium chunk to reach that level 10. Again, these at level 9 will reach that S tier in most cases. Now this video will be quite a long one, so use the timestamps down below if there's a certain weapon you are looking for. Okay, so let's start. And firstly guys, we have the final Whisper Fists. Personally, these are some of my new favourite weapons in the game. Uh, these scale to an S tier in that agility stat. So to get these guys, you need to come to the vestige of Brother Jeremiah and follow the path I take on screen now. Now I won't use shortcuts just in case people who haven't unlocked them are seeing this video and watching it and want to follow the guide. So although this is a longer path than what's possible, it's a path you will take upon first getting here. Now initially the man's kitchen key is obtained from the big dude outside of the vestige building so you will have to take him at first to obtain this key to progress. So once you've done this guys follow the path I take on screen now. Now you will eventually get to this point right here on the floor right here in this small room is this S tier weapon so grab this thing. Okay so next up guys we have the iron wayfarer's hammer. So this grand hammer once leveled up offers an S tier in that strength stat and although hammers ain't really my thing I know there are people out there that this will be the perfect weapon for. With it also scaling slightly with Radiance, Inferno and Agility 2, it can make quite the weapon. So the Iron Wayfarer's Hammer is a weapon that drops upon you defeating the Iron Wayfarer, which I will state is an easy boss you will come across around mid-game, depending on the paths you take. Now he's located right next to the Upper Carith Vestige of the Forsaken Guardian. This is a vestige you can come to via two different paths, head on and from down below. So from the vestige guys, follow the path I take right to this mini bus. Now he is protecting a path you may eventually take, but either or take him down and you are rewarded this hammer, which upon you leveling up becomes an S tier weapon. Okay, so next up guys, we have an STS spear called the Skin Steel Spear. 
So this weapon offers an S tier in that agility stat and it's quite a beast. Again, not my kind of weapon, but I was having loads of fun using it. So to get this weapon, you firstly need to grab the Sunless Skin Key. Now, if you already have this, don't worry about this part. But from the Festige of the Forgotten Garden, you need to make your way back down to this point, then follow the path I take. Now the key can be found on this body right here. So from this point, once you have this key, you need to travel to the Sunless Skin Mines, the vestige of the Hooded and Thule. And then guys, follow the path I take on screen now. Now this door will initially be locked, but you use this key to wait, open the door. And then guys, follow the path I take. Now there will be enemies in your way, a skin stealer too, but you can easily avoid them or take them out. And then guys pick up the weapon which will be right here on the floor. Okay so next up guys we have the Judge Cleric Spear and this amazing weapon scales with that radiance giving you an S tier in this stat. Needless to say this is an absolute machine and definitely one of my favourites in the game. So to get this weapon guys, it comes from the Judge Cleric's Remembrance. This means you have to firstly take this boss down. And this boss is located within the Imperium from the vestige of Irello, the Cursed Knight. Now this boss is located within the church which sits at the top of these stairs. You will progress up to, but in your way will be some hard hitting enemies and also a locked door. You first need to grab the church key. And to do this guys you need to go into that umbral realm and make your way to the left and climb up the left hand side of this building. Once you are up here you need to clear the path upon yourself as you'll see me do on screen now. Now once the path is cleared and you'd open the way up, uh, on this floor right here guys, to the right hand side there is a chest which beholds this key, so grab it. Now once you have, you need to make your way back down. Uh, so yes, with the key from the vestige point as I'm doing on the screen now, follow the path I take on the screen now, run past all the enemies and you will eventually come to that boss cleric fight. Remember guys, if you have a seed, drop an anchor between realms before this boss fight. Now once you take the boss down you get the remembrance obviously, use this at Skyrest to purchase this weapon people, level it up and you have yourself another amazing S tier weapon. Now
Next up guys, we have the Conflagrant, Seer Staff. So this amazing Inferno S tier weapon is quite the beast. Any people out there looking for the perfect Inferno build weapon, this indeed could be that. So to get this weapon guys, you need to be at that end game. This weapon is located exclusively from an enemy within Bramis Castle. Now what I will say is, I don't know if this is a guaranteed drop, but what I do know is there's at least three of these enemies within Bramis Castle, and once you take them out, they do not respawn. Uh, now I will show you the location of all three just in case. So the first one you will come across just before you trigger the Vestige of the Bloody Pilgrim, one of a few vestiges within Bramis Castle. As soon as you progress through Bramis Castle, you will eventually come to this point right here guys, where this vestige is found. But you first encounter one of these conflagrant seer enemies, uh, which is right in front of where this vestige is, who you have to take out first. Now for me, the first one I killed, which is this one on the screen now, dropped the weapon for me. But like I said, I don't think it's a guarantee. If you guys do have means of buffing your item discovery, now will be the time to start using said things. So once you have taken this enemy out and he hasn't dropped the weapon, activate the vestige. From here guys, there are two more you can find. The first and the remaining two is located where I go on screen now. And what I will say is, if you've already been here and unlocked the shortcuts, you can take these shortcuts by all means. But I am going to showcase on screen now guys, the route you would have to take if you're a first time player within this area. So follow the path I take on screen now. So you will eventually come to this area right here where you see that giant swirling staircase. Here guys you need to make your way around the left and follow the path I take. In this area right here there will be another conflagrant seer enemy. So take them out. Upon you doing this guys, it paves the way for you to progress via clearing out those crystals and unlocking your path to a lever which you have to pull to progress. So if this enemy didn't drop the weapon for you, either or, pull this lever guys and it spins the staircase at the far room which you now have to go and climb up. So go to this staircase guys, halfway up you need to divert and grab yourself the royal key. This is a must otherwise you can't progress this area. So follow where I go on screen now guys, there will be enemies in your way, you can avoid them, dodge past them if you want to or take them out, it's completely up to you. But once you do either or, on this bookcase right here will be this royal key, so grab it. Now guys you need to make your way back to that staircase and make your way to the top. At the very top you'll use this royal key to progress. Okay, so follow the path I take on screen now guys, it's quite a trick, but follow it and you'll eventually come to the third and final conflagrant seer enemy. So this is the point guys where you'll see the third and final enemy, so take them out and hopefully for your sake you get this weapon drop. Good luck. 
So next up guys we have the Grinning Axe. So this S tier weapon also scales with Inferno. Another great weapon for those out there looking for those Inferno builds. This one is just a lion around waiting for you to pick up. So from the vestige of the bloody pilgrim, we actually make our way slightly back to grab this item. It really is easily missable, so go get this thing guys. Okay, so lastly for the S tier weapons people, we have the Barfling Muse Hammer. Now I've probably pronounced that wrong, I am absolutely useless at pronouncing things. So this weapon scales up to an S tier in that radiance, so for sure is a beast of a weapon people. So this one is also located within Bramis Castle, again though it is just lying around waiting for you to grab. Now it is quite a trek, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So from the vestige of the bloody pilgrim, follow the path I take on screen now. Now as I mentioned earlier on in the video, but for those using timestamps, you will eventually come to this area here, with that giant swirling staircase. Here guys, you need to make your way around the left and follow the path I take, because in this area guys, there is another conflagrant seer enemy who you need to take out. Upon you doing this, it clears the path for you to use the lever. Uh, so pull the lever guys, and you'll see that staircase rotate. Now you need to head back to that staircase guys, and climb it. Halfway up it guys, you need to divert and grab yourself the royal key. So do as I do on screen now guys, and go get this key. It's located on its bookshelf, you can see me hitting. Once you have the key guys, climb to the top of the staircase and then just follow the progress and uh, the path I take on screen now.
Now eventually guys you'll come to this area right here. Simply do as I do on screen now and the weapon is here waiting for you to grab it is that simple. And there we have it guys the 7 best S tier weapons in Lords of the Fallen. If I've missed any please let me know down below within that comment section as far as I'm aware there's only 7 in the game but there could be 1 or 2 hiding elsewhere. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.